Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. And a lot of people have requested that I do a tutorial showing you how I use my InStyler. I know that there's kind of some debate on is it good, is it not good, how do you use it, how does it make your hair better or worse. So this is my hair when it dries naturally. It has some wave, it has, you know, its own shape basically. And it's not necessarily always uniformed. It kind of flips out a little bit in spots and things like that. So what I use my InStyler for is to smooth everything out and to shape it exactly the way I want it to look. And I'm going to go through and show you the basics of how I do it. And I won't talk when I'm actually using the InStyler because it does make noise, the barrel does rotate, and then this part is stationary. It gets very hot, so I do use the guard on it now that my hair is shorter than it used to be when I first started using it. But it comes in two different sizes now. It didn't use to. It only came in one size before. But now it does come in two different barrel sizes. So if your hair is shorter than mine, you can use it and you would just want to use the smaller barrel size. So you just want to comb through your hair and make sure that it is tangle free of course. A lot of the principles are about the same as straightening only I don't have to go as small of sections and it gives a lot more volume and bounce to your hair using the InStyler in my opinion. Now I'm going to take a section and there's really no, you know, exactness to what I do. And I'm going to take a small clip and pin that out of my way. I'm going to section it off roughly around my ear. And I'm going to hold it like this. I want the bristles on the top and the barrel on the bottom, and that way it will curl under. If I want it to curl out, then I'm going to do it the opposite way and have the bristles on the bottom and the barrel on the top. But I prefer my hair to curl under, not up. Position it close to your head. and let it gently fall away. And you see how nice of a shape that gives your hair? Now this is just like a curling iron and it's just like um, hot rollers, straighteners. You need to let the hair cool before you start playing with it. So I'm just gonna let that hang and I'm going to do the next couple of sections. The more sections you do, the more volume you're going to build into your hair. So if you're looking for a lot of volume, you want to do very small sections and always lift it up and then come out with it so that you get that lifted poof there at the roots.
And I'm going to section off the other side like I did. Now if I wanted it to have the same exact angle, I would just need to hold it above the hair from the outside in instead of from behind it forward. And while I'm waiting for that to cool, I'll just explain some of the features of the N-Styler. It does have three power settings, low, medium, and high. And like I said, this is the stationary side. This side rotates so that it spins and polishes the hair, which gives it more shine and smoothness. It clamps together so that it works kind of like a straightener, but you don't want to smash your hair in between it. You want to just shut it so that it activates because it has a little thing right here that goes into this side. When it is closed enough that it activates, it allows your hair to move through it freely and to polish it as it goes. The combs also straighten your hair out as it goes through and that is really convenient as well. Once it's all been curled and it's had a chance to set and cool down, then I just take that same big comb and gently comb through it to blend all of the layers together. And there we have a finished style. I really hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration about my InStyler. I've had it for about two years since I bought it. It is a wonderful hair tool. I have gotten everybody that I know that does their hair on a regular basis completely addicted to this product. My sister has very thin, fine hair, and it gives her so much volume and makes her hair look so nice. And people definitely give her a ton more compliments on her hair when she uses it versus some other styling wands, some other styling products. So I, I definitely would recommend the InStyler to anybody that likes to flat iron their hair and then has to go back and kind of curl their ends under or things like that. If you just want to give your hair a little better shape and volume than it has naturally, I definitely think this is a wonderful tool. If you have any other questions about the InStyler or how I use it, please comment below and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day everybody. Bye!